Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Frogless Veggies, coming in with another Test Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. You clicked on the thumbnail because we are reviewing Simply Plant Power Chili Rileño Burrito. Okay, we are gonna give it a try. I like chili rileños by themselves. Let's see if I like it in a burrito, you know? Let's test it out. Of course, it's another Sprouts run. You know, I stay in the Sprouts honey, okay? So anyway, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you guys so much. And for all of you veggie fam returning, thank you again. Love y'all, this is how we do. We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey, if you don't have to? I'll do it for you. Also, are y'all following me on my socials? Well, here they are right here. Make sure you follow me here on my socials to stay up to date with me throughout the week. And let's get into this review, shall we? And boom. So, you get a closer look at the packaging. You can kind of see how inviting it was. And it's like, okay, y'all make me want to come straight to you. Okay, Simply Plant Powered. I like it. It has 11 grams of protein, zero cholesterol here. Now let's get into these ingredients. Now it's a lot of ingredients. I'm believing here, y'all can kind of see it as I'm going through it, but y'all already know I only do the top five and then we kind of go from there, okay? So we have flour tortillas, tomatoes, roasted poblano chili, they use coconut milk and plant-based cheddar cheese and then they kind of go through the different oils and seasonings um, here as well and we are gonna, we gonna get some rice in there. Okay, we're gonna get some rice to help fill it up. So I'm excited, a little sugar, some seasonings there, cayenne pepper for a little kick, okay? Now, <laughs> calories is like, woo, you know, kind of jump at you, but mind you, this is one serving per container. It is a full burrito, okay? So we gotta, we gotta remember that, okay? Because it's 510 for the calories. And the cholesterol is zero grams, but that sodium, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little close. Okay, 640 milligrams of the sodium there. Okay, so let's hope it's not too salty. But outside of that, you know, let's get into how we can cook it. So it's either microwave oven or regular oven. I think I'm gonna microwave it only because this is giving like microwave kind of meal type deal. It's not giving something, you know, it's giving on the go, it's giving quick. So I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so we can see what we're getting into and go from there. Real quick, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty hefty. Okay, it's heavy, baby. So we're gonna put a little slit in it, put it in the microwave, and we'll see what it looks like on the other side. Boop. Okay, so quick video here. Y'all gonna see I had a little whoopsies, okay, in the microwave. So maybe for y'all, put down a paper towel so y'all don't have that issue, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, now it's kind of like a flat burrito, you know. You know, I'm, I'm smelling spice. I'm smelling seasoning. Um, yeah, um, it's giving microwave. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see what it tastes like. Hold on. Let's get into the things that I love. I love that you can taste the peppers. Love that, that it's all throughout. I love that um, it is, I'm looking down at it. <laughs> I love that you can kind of get the spice and it's seasoned really well. Um, I love the cheesiness of it, like the cheese melted really good too. Love that. Um, yeah, and let's slide on in. <laughs> I know it sounds bad. Let's slide on into the Love Me Nots. Um, while I enjoyed all the other things, the seasonings, the sauce, uh, all of that coming together, the cheesy, the gooey, I do feel like it was kind of overshadowed by the doughiness of the burrito. Like the flour tortilla just, it tastes like dough, like underdone dough, which, I don't know, I'm battling because I'm like, I get it, you put it in the microwaves and it was frozen, so there is a chance for it to get soggy, but I don't know if I love that. I don't know if I love that for this, you know? And then um, I didn't really taste any sauce, I mean, any rice. So I'm like, 
I've been kind of digging. I guess the rice is in there, but I wonder if you can see it. I guess the rice is in there, but it just wasn't a lot of it. So I kind of wanted more rice. I kind of wanted more rice in the mix. Maybe that would have helped it out, but yeah, the burritos, it's, it's in a burrito. The tortilla, with it being soggy, I just, it was womp womp to me. So with that being said, although I really loved the seasonings and the flavors, I probably would want to uh, have this with rice on the side or something and just maybe just have the pepper stuffed. Who knows? But I'm gonna give this a 2.5 star. Yeah, 2.5 stars for this review. Um, I just, yeah, that that is supposed to be a burrito. I'm supposed to enjoy it that way. So yeah, sorry guys, we're wrapping up the video. Okay, it's the end of the video. What do we think? What do we think of this review this week? Have you guys tried this product? Have you seen it? What are your thoughts? Comment below and thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl Ashley of Fabulous Veggies where we're always cooking up fresh greens in the daily. Again, here are all of my socials to stay up to date with me throughout the week and thank you guys so much for watching.